Hi, uh, one of the hardest things when you want to buy a present for a knife guy, you probably don't know what knives he has or wants, uh, but you want to identify with his or her hobby. Um, what I think is a great thing you can buy someone is this nafs.com nafs sort of portable knife tool roll. So Ben sent this to me with the lander. Thank you, Ben. And I've sort of, I've ran with what he's had in it and I've kind of repurposed it a bit depending on the journeys that I'm going on. Uh, this thing generally sits in my car in my EDC bag, um, which I've got a new nutsack bag. I really need to do a review of as well. But yeah, it's really good for, sometimes people will want you to touch up a knife for them with pretty short notice. And you can be like, well, do you want to just run home and get it? And I'll do it for you now. And this kit here is something that I'm more than able to do a complete knife touch up with. Uh, what I often do as well as I run it, when I'm transporting one of my bigger sharpening systems lately, it's been the TS Prof. I use this also, I might sub out a couple of things and have the, you know, some accessories for the TS Prof, like, a, like an angle cube. And in fact, all the TS Prof, the, all five of my, my diamond tiles also fit in a part of this. It just requires a little bit of moving in and out. And also a spare set of jaws, or the other set of TS Prof jaws also sits in here. So it's a really cool little thing, full of really kind of quality feeling products as it comes from the shelf, but also plenty of, leeway for you to go and make it your own a bit more. So what it comes with when you get it from nafs.com, there was no Sharpie, there was no diafold. Pretty much like this, I reckon, yeah. So these things here, so you've got, righto. So it comes with, starting off a thing of uh, nano oil or knife pivot style lube. I don't know what the brand is, I think it's nano oil, not, like, not KPL. No, it's Sentry Glide, Tough Glide, Rust Inhibitor and Lubricant. So it comes with a little bit of that if you've got a knife that you want to disassemble and put back together and just add a little couple of drops. I don't really use this stuff too much, to be honest. I don't know. I, I, I think there is a place for these kind of products, but I think the people that sell these products generally kind of make you feel like you need to be applying them a lot more than you actually need to. It's always been my philosophy. Most of my knives work fine and I haven't really tuned them, so to speak, at all. Anyway, nice stuff to have. Really cool is this iFixit driver. So you get the driver and then you get two little replacement torques. So you get a T8, a T10, and this is right here a T6. So this will generally get your scale screws and then these two will generally get your pivot screws. What I really appreciated about this was though, that when I take off this, I, I traveled with my um, TS Prof and I forgot my hex wrench. But if you, and this isn't the right, you know, this isn't 100% correct, but you can take this out and you can turn it upside down and it holds it in place. And it's actually the same width as the the hex head wrench to adjust the, the TS Prof, which was a lifesaver. And then you can see around here, it's quite worn off. What I did then was I used my Swiss tool spirit to really turn it and reef it down because it's not, not enough leverage to get the turn that I needed to make just off of this cylindrical driver. But anyway, that's a, that's a story of me sort of forcing something into a roll it's not meant for, but really great little driver, it, free pivots. Yeah, obviously the end has a bearing in it or something like that. So you can use it for your little micro adjustments and whatnot. Um, really, really cool little thing. And I use that plenty. Uh, next up is a little thing of blue Loctite. I guess if you have done a disassembly, you can then use your blue Loctite and make sure it doesn't pop out or make sure the screws don't come out again. Uh, it's pretty important, uh, especially if you're doing like handle scale swaps things like that. You don't want your handle scale screws to go missing and fall out. So that can save you a bother, but it's a really sensible amount. You're not gonna use much more than that in the whole year sort of thing. Uh, and then what you've got is a plastic pry. So a plastic pry bar to get those knife liners apart and whatnot without scuffing up or scratching or damaging anything. So it's obviously gonna, the plastic's gonna lose to any metal that it comes into contact with. So at the very worst, you're gonna have a, um, a uh, as it says, this tool is designed to break before your device does. So there you go, and it's made by the iFixit company as well. So I guess probably designed to pop off iPhone screens or whatnot, but really does a great job at popping off knife scales as well. And then you get this teeny little strop. And yeah, you can put this on like a key ring and you can actually pull it tight if you wanna do like barbershop style. I usually just put it flat on a table and with a little bit of care, work my edge. This has actually been my primary strop lately. That's just because I'm dumb and haven't bought myself a proper strop, but does a great job and the compound that Ben puts in, the NAFS 
compounds is this green stuff here. I I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's there. Uh, I don't know what, what compound strength it is. I don't know. It's a chromium oxide. Um, or ox yeah, I don't know. It's made in America. It's like a little bar of green shit that you put in your thing. It does, does a great job anyway. It's a nice little stropping compound. All the one, all, all the all the finery that I've really ever needed in a stropping compound. People can go really to town with different strops and compounds and things. I was just fine. Pick one and run with it. But that's up to you. If you want to put more thought in it to, the, in it, to it that I do, then so be it. And then yeah, just a couple of little driver extensions too. So that's kind of how it come for me. Oh, and it comes with a couple of these funky tasting sort of peppermint black jelly bean flavored mint lollies as well. I'm not sure if that's the treatment that everyone gets, but uh, nice. And uh, yeah, so how do I modify it? Well, I usually put in, if I'm like going somewhere where I know I'm going to be bored, like something that where it's with me, it's often I might be going somewhere, I'm gonna be waiting for like an hour until my kids have finished at an activity or something like that. I might pack my sharpener and a couple of knives to sharpen while I'm waiting. And I'll do it on the dash of my car or I'll do it if there's a table or somewhere to go and sit. And uh, you know, and it's socially acceptable. But uh, yeah, so I'll often pack a couple of knives so you can fit you know, a knife or two in this sleeve, like no worries at all. You can kind of bundle it up and wrap it up as well. But yeah, generally speaking, I've also been packing this, what I think is probably the best sort of pocket-sized sharpener. I would say the workshop guided field sharpener is probably the best mini sharpener, but it's not really pocket pocketable. This one's truly pocketable to diafold. A double DMT stone. I think it's like a thousand and six hundred or something like that. Really, really good. You can sharpen basically everything with this and the strop. If you have just a little bit of technique, you can get, you know, seventy percent there. You can get get yourself a good, you know, B grade edge, which is you know, all that most people ever really ever have on their knives anyway. So I usually pack that, and sometimes I'll chuck my angle cube in this zip section as well. Adds a bit of bulk, but so be it. Oh yeah, if I am packing my um, TS Prof, I'll pack all the stones in these. These are just the Venev long, uh, thin diamond stones. Just stuff all my, you know, it's a bit of a, bit of a Tetris thing to do it, but you can get all my Venev TS Prof stones in there, put the strops back in there. You can even get the angle cube in there. And you can get it mostly zipped up and you can bundle the whole thing up. Yep. Really nice little magnets, hold everything together. One little guy up, and because this tie goes all the way around, you've still got yourself a little hamper full of all of your knife goodies. Another thing I shove in here often is a Sharpie too, which is literally came from it, and I was just doing a lot of sharpening for that last video, and there you go. So, look, I've, <laughs> to be honest, when I got it, I was a bit like, oh, it's just a bunch of stuff, like, okay, I've got most of these things. But you know what, if you make it more about you and your ability to keep everything together, and you'll know that even if you're at home and you should be able to find all of your, your more dedicated, bigger tools to do this stuff, and now if you're anything like me and your life's, you know, you're a bit of a clusterfuck, then you probably won't be able to find the exact Torx driver that you need. I mean, I've got, I've got these wee hard drivers. You know what I bet I couldn't find right now? The one that I needed, right? So I know I've got this one. It always just goes back in the thing and does a great job. So you know what? I really did think it was a bit gimmicky at the start, but then you see it and you're like, you know, this is something that you could absolutely, if you don't know what knife to get someone, if you've got like, if you're someone's wife right now watching my channel because your husband likes it and you, you know he likes knives, but you're not sure exactly what knife he wants and you don't just want to give him money or give him permission to buy himself that knife that he wants, which is frankly what I think you prefer you do. But if you want to get him a thing, then this is a really nice premium feeling thing from a good little American company, a little American startup with a... You know, nice little American man, Ben, that we all like from our knife community. I don't know. just feels like everyone wins here. But yeah. Nafs.com, Nafsco, whatever it is. Uh, EDC knife tool lay thing. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. But it's good. And I like it. And I recommend it. Thanks. Bye.